almost slit my throat, but it's in the name of fashion. <sighs> this is gonna be a long one, y'all. That's what she said, so buckle up, strap in. What up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade Fox and this is the Made You Looks channel. And today I have a highly requested video. This video is so highly requested, it was requested before I even made this damn channel. Okay, and that is how to find button ups. How to find the perfect button up. Because if you are someone with a fuller chest, however, you may not just be, you know, out here wearing maxi skirts and stuff, you know what I mean? You might be a little bit on the more masculine side. Or maybe you just don't want your whole chest to be for everybody out here. I'm going to show you how I find button ups. I used to work a government job, so I used to, you know, just be out here Hillary Clinton in the outfits, in the body, you know what I mean? So I had to wear pantsuits. I had to wear, you know, very formal or like tailored more fitted stuff. I'm going to show you the different types of button-ups there are because in my opinion there's like three buckets of button-ups and then how to find the right one for the occasion that you're looking for. So whether that be your more business formal type of events, so where you would want that more tailored or fitted look or maybe just for more casual events and stuff like that. So regardless of the reasons as to why you're looking for button ups, I got you. I also wanna mention that this is all through my own research and my own experience. So if there's anything that you have noticed that has helped you in your experience when you're shopping for button ups, please list them down below because this is a community y'all, we're here to help each other, all right? I'm gonna try and put my measurements in the description as well because I, don't have a whole lot going on in the hip area. My hips be telling the truth and nothing but the truth, okay? I don't have a whole lot going on in the lower body areas. It's really just my chest that is my biggest workaround. So if you are someone who does have a big ass out here, does have hips out here, um, leave your tips down below as well. But let's get into it. I'm gonna be breaking this video up into three sections. One, where I just give you a bunch of tips and just things to take home with you. Number two, I'm gonna do an overview of the different types of button ups there are out there that you really are gonna be kind of uh, sifting through when you're shopping online or offline. And then number three is how to shop, whether you are online or offline. Let's just get, you know, the, the pills out the way. This might be a hard pill to swallow, but it's just the truth. It's just the reality, okay? If you want that very tailored or fitted look, but you have a large chest, but you also don't wanna accentuate your large chest necessarily, even though you want that tailored look, you are gonna have to pick a side. Either go for tailored and just look a little bustier or not or get things tailored which costs a little bit of money but that's also an option unfortunately off the rack button ups just don't always do everything that we want them to do and so that's why i made this channel because we have all of these workarounds right but if you want that tailored fitted look but you do have a big chest and you don't want to accentuate it you're gonna have to pick basically accentuate it and go for that very tailored look or get things tailored to your body or just ignore and just don't do it at all. Number two, pay attention to the fabric. If it's loose or a thin fabric, it's gonna lay a little bit closer to the body than if it was a little bit thicker and a little bit structured. So if you're looking for that more like classic fit, go for the thicker or more structured. If you wanna do like a vacation in Cabo, you know what I mean, type of type of look and feel, if trying to give um, Steve Harvey, but like, in quarantine. If you want to give pajama set, go for the looser or thinner fabrics. Okay. Number three, and this is probably the most important tip, and that is be specific about the type of button up that you're looking for. Because if you're looking for something for work that needs to be tucked in versus whether you're looking for something just to, you know, just for like a week, a weekend trip or going to the mall, just like more casual times, those are really going to be two different types of fits and do require a different eye. So be specific. And what I mean is be so specific even to consider the sleeve length. And I also want to, as an aside, mention that I'm going to be talking about button ups within the women's and the men's section. So if you are thinking about that, I'm going to do both. For example, if you're looking for something for work, it's probably best for you to just solely shop in the women's section. If you're looking for something that is a bit more casual, you have a little bit more room to play with the style of it. And so I think you can probably choose from the women's or the men's section. But unless you really know what you're looking for, you're not gonna know which side of the store to really shop in. 
So be specific. And I mentioned sleeve length before. Sleeve length plays a big role in how I shop for button ups because if I'm looking for a long sleeve button up shirt, I will only shop in the women's section because I want the shoulder lines or the shoulder seams to match up on my shoulders. I don't want the length to be too long. I don't want that weird thing that happens with um, men's button ups where the seam for the arm, like see where it is on my hoodie on a men's shirt, it'll probably start somewhere down here. And then when you lift your arm, if you have this like bat wing situation, if you're looking for a long sleeve, when I'm looking for a long sleeve button up, I only look in the women's section. Um, just because I know that that fit is gonna be a bit more aligned with the actual uh, shape of my body, more so than men's section. If I'm looking for short sleeves, I can go either way. Sometimes, you know, when you go with short sleeve in the women's, it can give, it can give BB Homemaker, you know? The sleeves are a little too short, it looks a little odd, you know? Um, I actually prefer the short sleeves in the men's section because short sleeves, well, first of all, short sleeve button ups are just more of a menswear thing than in women's wear. Like you can find it in the women's section, they have them, but you're just gonna have more of a variety. You're gonna have more to choose from in the men's section just because it's more of a thing over there. All right. And then also the men's section button ups when they are short sleeve tend to be a little bit more boxy. They tend to play around with the length a bit more than in the women's section. So you can actually find like a really cool cropped or even like a slightly cropped boxy, really cool men's short sleeve shirt that looks really good on you. And it can even be like that oversized look, but still look really clean and nice. Like I've had more success finding those types of shirts in the men's section than in the women's section. So please take sleeve length into consideration as well. And those are all the tips. Actually, I thought there was gonna be more, but there's more to this video. We're gonna go into the details of the sleeves. We're gonna go into the details of the fits. We're going to go into the details of how to shop and what to look for. Um, coming up very soon, but before we get into how to shop, I want to quickly do an overview of the three buckets of button ups, the three types of button ups. And this is my definition, this is what I've noticed. So I'm sure if you went to fashion school or if you want to, went to some fashion blog or something like that, they probably would describe it in different words, different language. Um, but in my opinion, this is pretty much the three types of button ups. You have number one, which is the tailored fit or the fitted shirt. And then you have number two, you have a regular fit or a classic fit. And then number three, you have the stylized fit. So that's basically when you see a boyfriend fit or a grandfather fit, or maybe it's got some a button up with some balloon sleeves. They've basically taken the regular regular button up and they've added some stuff to it. It's a button up with some bop in it now. Now that you have those tips, now that you know what we're talking about, let's shop. All right, so I'm sitting in front of my computer and since most people, most of you are probably not going to be in the store shopping, trying on a bunch of stuff, because that's what I did. I did that for a long time since we're not really allowed to do that. I'm going to show you how to shop for these things online, but really you can apply these tips in person as well. And honestly, trying things on is the best way to know whether or not something's giving what you want it to give. So I'm gonna be on ASOS. I'm gonna flip back and forth between ASOS and Banana Republic to give y'all examples um, of types of button ups that are out there. And so you know where to actually get them. Those are just two places that you can go. There's a bunch of different places. And honestly, I can tell you all the places that I've been and that I've bought button ups from, but honestly, like you're gonna have to shop around a bit. I'm gonna link them down below anyway, but you're gonna have to shop around a bit to find the fit and the place that has the types of shirts that you're really looking for, that you feel comfortable in. So on my screen, I have three types, or the three types of button ups. I have the fitted, I have this more stylized one, and then I have, oh, this is another type of fitted, but I wanna get into that too. And then I have this more classic fit shirt. Now, when I was working for the government, this was normally the type of shirt that I would go for because normally I wasn't really tucking in my shirts like that. You know, it was more business casual than business formal. So if you're in a business casual setting, I suggest this classic fit. If you're going for the more business formal or just formal in general, I suggest going for the fitted. And the place that I went for my buttons when I was going, when I was working my government job that I and for the situations where I had to have that more fitted look was Banana Republic. And I specifically used to buy this fit. It's called the Riley Tailored Fit. Now, I wouldn't like it in my actual size. So I think in these, I was actually like around like an eight, 
but I sized up to a 10. And I think that that is the middle ground between having a fitted shirt and having a classic shirt and then like finding the middle in between the two because it gave me the cinch that it's got right here. It looked good when I tucked it in, but it didn't give me too much lift in the front. And the thing to look out for with tailored shirts, right? Or with button ups in general are the darts. And darts are these, these right back here. You see these two, um, these two lines in the back here. They'll also have in the front, which is what you see right here in this ASOS um, button up. Basically what darts are, they are literally parts of the garment um, that are there to accentuate your bust. Like they're there to tailor the garment and bring it in closer to the body. Um, it's very desired by women or just people who like that look and who want to provide a little bit of um, a lift and exposure to the bust area. However, if you're like me and that's not something that you're really looking for, I would stay away from any type of garment that has these darts on it. And these are not even the only two places that darts will be located. Like sometimes they'll have them, as you can see on this graph or on this illustration, there, there are darts, darts can be put anywhere. But for the purposes of this video, I would stay away from these darts here, these darts here, and then the other two that I showed you. So one, two, these, and then these as well. Unless you're trying to go for that tailored look, then that is what you want. Otherwise, I would just stay away from it altogether. Now, you're shopping for button ups online because COVID is out here in these streets, but you got things to do, you got places to go. So this is the probably the most important thing when you're shopping for button ups online, and that is to just read the damn product description, okay? Literally everything you're looking for is in that product description from the fabric to the fit, all the things. This is the fitted long sleeve shirt and stretch cotton in white. Obviously it's in the title, you know it's gonna be fitted, but if you want more information, that's going to be here um, in the description. And if say you come across a shirt that doesn't have it in the description, such as this one, it just says selected femme shirt with side zip in white. You're like, well, I wanna know more about the actual fit of the shirt. Go to the product description and there you go. It's regular fit, it's true to size, um, zip side fastening. I don't know what that means. Can I see it? I would like to see the zip side fastening. Oh, it's got a zip. Oh, that's interesting. That's a thing, okay. Spread collar, long sleeves. If it's more of the stylized button ups that we talked about, then it'll say something a little bit different. So you'll see a little bit of a slush fit, it's boyfriend, it's got a drop shoulder, point collar. So that is basically outlining how it's different from your fitted or your classic. And I like oversized things. I like the boyfriend fit of things. So this is something that I would most likely buy because I like drop shoulders. I like boyfriend fit. And boyfriend fit basically just means that like, it's gonna be oversized. I feel like that they could have just say oversized fit, but they say boyfriend fit for some reason. We should start a petition about that. This is something that's not really, I don't think it's good for work, but it is good for, you know, a date or going to the mall and buying slingbacks. I don't know, I don't know what to do, okay. And this is another tip, but not every site does this, not every website will do this. It's irresponsible. I feel that it's irresponsible that sites don't do this. Look at what size the person in the product photo is wearing. So I know ASOS does this and I thank you ASOS for doing this, but they always put whatever the size the model is. Let's see if Banana Republic does it. So if you like how this is fitting on the model and you're around the same size you think, it's just a really helpful little tip. Yep, model size two, 510. So really utilize everything, all the information that's on the site and all the information that's in the product description because it's probably gonna answer a lot of questions for you and take a lot of the guesswork out of it. Also, if you're looking at the model and you're seeing how it fits on them, you're like, you know what, I like this fit, but I think I want it to be a little bit more roomy. Let me just go up a size. And you're a little bit more confident when you're actually buying these things online because you're not having to just guess about how you think things are actually going to fit. So utilize all the information that is on the site because some intern put it there for a reason, okay? And then the last tip would be to just shop around. What I do when I'm looking for button ups is I'll just go to that part of the website 
tops, product type. Shirts, I don't know if y'all know this, but a lot of time button up is another word for just shirt. And just look and just see what's out there because sometimes the more stylized button ups give me the fit that I want more so than the classic fit. Because I think the classic fit is good if you just want your standard, regular button up, no frills, no tailoring, nothing crazy, nothing, no uniqueness about it. Just give me this thing, right? But sometimes like you will find the more stylized button ups and it'll just be a regular button up, but it'll have a drop shoulder. Therefore it'll give it, I don't know, kind of, it just gives you a different look, a different vibe. And it might give you something that you didn't know that you wanted. So I look at all of them and I like sites like ASOS. This isn't sponsored or anything, by the way. I like sites like ASOS that give you a big variety of things to look through because it also like helps you expand your understanding or your knowledge of what types of clothes out there. And the more you know about clothes, the more you know about garments and how they're crafted and how they're um, structured, the easier it is for you to shop because you're gonna have that knowledge in your back pocket, right? And it might be a little expensive, I'm gonna be honest with you, it probably will get expensive just because when you are shopping around and you're having to shop around with workarounds, it just gets annoying and not everything is going to work out for you. But at the end of the day, you also know what works and you know what doesn't. So through your trial and error, you will find the nuggets um, that, you're, that you're going to keep with you that are going to make it easier for you to shop. And you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna know what stores you're gonna go to, you already know what sizes you are, you already know things are, how things are going to fit. There is no guesswork, there is no back and forth. There is no insecurity basically when you're, con when you're shopping. You're gonna have the confidence in knowing that what you're actually buying or what you're actually buying is what you want and it, it is going to fit you in the way that you want it to fit. And let's send this video out. I'm finished talking. All right, y'all, thank y'all for watching this video. I hope that you learned a lot. Um, I tried to give as much information as I possibly could, but this could be something that I update in a year's time, just based off of, you know, things that I've learned while shopping and just trying different styles and such. But please leave your, any tips that you have from your experience in the description, just because not everybody here has the same body type. And so I, obviously can only speak from having my body type. And so if there's anything that you have to, you know, add to expand on this topic a bit, please leave it in the comments below. I appreciate that. This is the precursor for the workwear video that I do plan on doing. And that's when we're gonna get into blazers and pants and just overall, just more like businessy type of looks. So stay tuned for that. I hope that this helped and that is it. I have no more to say. My name is Shay Fox. This is the Major Looks channel. Wear what you want, wear what you like, wear it out. I'll see you soon. Peace.